home and it's time we get ready okay I think I want to do just like a little bit of makeup today I'm not sure just because I do have to take photos for Depop and film for TikTok and stuff but I want to just do really lightweight because I got back two days ago but I have so much to do I'm behind on everything when I got back the day of Jessica and I left at like 6 in the morning um I didn't get back until like 2 p.m because I had to drop her off and stuff and literally I came home and immediately did shipment for like five hours straight thought I was gonna have time to film didn't get to do any of that like had to do a bunch of inventory stuff and now we're here okay it's like a day later so I need to again take more photos for Depop film do all of that but most importantly <laughs> We need to unpack because I have so much crap to unpack. It's actually overwhelming me. I did try to do like a little bit of a tidy up. I put away like all my makeup, skincare, all of that. But as far as all my clothes, I have so much laundry. I literally have my laundry chair still filled with stuff of uh, stuff that I washed like two weeks ago. And it's still sitting there. So we need to put everything away. That is what we're doing today. So let's do that I've got the water ready to boil for the pasta and now I'm gonna pan fry these Italian sausages that I got from Trader Joe's literally before I do anything I did my makeup I again just a little light glam but we need to get the pasta I think this is the red lentil one from um, Trader Joe's I don't have like the package or anything because literally I just refill this all the time I already know the instructions and stuff so we're gonna be doing that I'm gonna heat up again pan fry the Italian sausages and I will be throwing this chunky tomato a pepper Trader Joe's a spicy sauce over it I would like to preferably put onions in there <laughs> But I don't have that, so that's great. I need to go grocery shopping and do all of that. Literally, these groceries are from when I was at Cass's because I went to Trader Joe's and got like a bunch of food, so I wasn't eating out all the time. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm probably gonna put some nutritional yeast over on top of it um, because I don't have any shredded cheese, but pretty simple. I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna really get, get this cleaning show on the road. I don't remember how I did it. Okay, I definitely burned the sausages, but I like it crispy, so I don't even care. But this is my favorite thing to make with, like, different varieties of taste when I'm so lazy that I just need something fast. And I put the nutritional yeast, garlic salt, and red pepper flakes. I'm going to do my Depop photos really quick. Again, if you guys saw my last vlog, or, like, two vlogs ago, um, this is stuff that I'm going to be posting. But I've been doing this thing where I only take, like, five to seven photos, sometimes eight, just depending on the time. And then immediately when I wake up the next morning, I will just post it all. It takes me about, like four hours you know sometimes five it just depends because i have to edit the photos i have to like put them in the program which has saved me actually a lot of time if you guys remember like way back in the day when i first started depop i would have to like set up a backdrop do all of that and now i literally only use one light i do it up against my closet and i use a photo room just as long as i have good lighting because sometimes it does kind of get ass but this thingy right here actually really really helps with the lighting but I just input it there I do my background and it's just easy you do have to pay per month but it again saves me so much time so much room and honestly I feel like with the way Depop is now you don't even need a background like how you did back then I feel like people do really well when they honestly are sometimes just up against like a really cool wall with a plant I don't know it's just whatever you want to do but I just thought I'd throw that out there if you guys are looking for a background because I know when I I literally had to like search the internet buy it on Amazon get the little things and it it was just way too much okay way too much so I do it that way and again it just helps me because I used to batch a lot I used to like take 50 photos at a time 60 and then I would do like 10 photos per day or like 15 per day and that just became too much because I actually kind of like to theme the clothes in a way like I don't want the same 60 photos to have the same look so at the end of all my filming at the end of every day I will just take like five to seven photos and then the next morning I will wake up and I will post them and that way it's actually easier and I can get a lot more done that way so that's just a little tip This laundry pile is literally insane. I just dumped my suitcase all on the ground. It's obviously the next day. 
long story. You had to do Depop all morning shipment. So now we're gonna resume to laundry. This is all the stuff that I was talking about that I did not put away yet. And there's stuff in the dryer. There's all this. I have stuff in my laundry basket. So let's just do that. I'm gonna start by putting away all of this laundry while literally watching Housewives of New Jersey because I don't know how people do this without watching something or like a podcast. I mean, this is just a lot. I like to usually fold it and I roll my stuff, okay? I literally will roll everything. It is like the quickest, the quickest method. I fold my towels like this. It's like the magic, tidying up thing like that and then I just put it in okay so much easier than just folding it especially if you're putting stuff in a drawer so I would like to separate it this actually I do fold normally because I have these folded in my closet but if it goes in a drawer I will always roll it so yeah let's do that I'm gonna do a little time lapse because Pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm poking out. today but I'm gonna do as much as I can um, because I still have to get ready and film and do all of that I literally don't have enough time in the day the way she's being so freaking cute and needy because I was gone for a week so she's like where have you been you left me and now I'm back and she's being the neediest child on earth okay we have to put this punishment on okay. I literally just only vacuumed this area and a little bit of the bedroom like literally just this tiny area and look at how much hair I just vacuumed I kid you not probably four days ago honestly maybe even three days ago this is life with four cats <laughs> this shark vacuum the literally not even an ad is so crazy it's a pet vacuum and it actually saves my life like if I didn't vacuum like every other day every two days I'm scared 
I'm honestly scared because um, just imagine if I didn't vacuum at least twice a week. That is very scary. When I tell you this is literally never ending. It like sounds so dumb, but the amount of stress that is being like relieved from me right now because I literally had so much laundry that I'm telling you, getting your shit together, like this is kind of honestly like a Sunday reset, even though I kind of started this yesterday. But again, I've been traveling so much that I haven't really been home that it's just like literally freaking me out. And having laundry pile up is like the worst thing for me because I actually enjoy laundry. I find it very therapeutic, but it's also very annoying when it's this much of it. So we need to obviously, okay, some things we need to air dry. The way this entire vlog has been me just doing laundry, but I'm not kidding. This is like we're getting our shit together. I just got out of the shower. Um, I literally feel like I cannot get ready until I put this away because I know myself. And if I start getting ready and I start running around and filming and taking Depop photos, it's going to be time to um, pass out. So, yeah. I love that this door is just right here so I can't really get into this space but honestly I prefer how this is versus when we had the table here and then when I had like the little couch here it just makes more sense with the back door right there and it just feels like more like a seating area into the kitchen I still want to take down the black brick wall I don't know when I'm gonna have time to do that because I still need to finish my living room that I haven't done yet so that's great. I washed like the majority of my delicates, so I'm gonna literally hang dry them and uh, get ready. A lot of these delicates are actually for my Depop. Like I have this Victoria's Secret slip. I just can never pass it up. I always buy it for myself and then I'm like, do I really need it? Because I have a massive lingerie problem when it comes to going to the thrift. I don't know why. I just like literally can never seem to stop myself and it's the way these are like the only workout leggings that I did on delicate because I accidentally washed literally all of them on accident in the last load because I just was not thinking at all. I just finished taking why are we so overexposed I got to figure out my camera situation because some half the time it's literally not even focused but I just did all of my Depop things this is one of the tops I actually like it because you could wear it in a strapless version as well but that's pretty much it I think tomorrow though I want to actually redo this entire room just because tonight I want to edit finish up a couple emails and all of that and then tomorrow maybe we will rearrange this room I can show you guys the living room and we can wrap it up current state of my extremely messy room again not as bad as it was before we left but because I've been doing laundry putting things away but you can see why I need to okay we must completely redo this. I want to put this couch right here under the window and then my computer on this side just because I feel like it's going to open it up a lot more. And like how I said, every time I do my outfit of the days, it's in this corner, but I never use this mirror. Like, it's not practical. It just gets in the way. So I need to create some type of flow, make it look less cluttered. It definitely looks really cute when it's spotless, but when it's not, it just, it's too much. So that is what we are going to be doing right now because I cannot handle it. All right. So let's do that. I think the best thing for me to do um, is move this over so I'm just gonna literally start moving shit because I cannot be bothered when I was little I used to literally rearrange my room like every other month just because I liked the change I've always been like that I don't know when I was in middle school not middle school elementary school I would clean up my desk like three times a day just like the satisfaction of wiping it down I don't know I I don't know if it's some kind of like clean thing or what, but something about just changing things always makes me feel better. 
Why am I so out of breath? Holy shit. But what I'm going to do is kind of go and then you'll see. I'm going to time lapse this also because oh, I need to watch Vanderpump Rules, okay? Rules, okay? I'm almost, almost close, okay? It's literally like two more episodes until the finale and I must know what happens. break because why would I not have more laundry okay it's literally never ending but we only have a couple loads so it's okay but I have all of these that I started to hang dry yesterday and they're still wet so can't really put it away why are we dark right now are we dark right now I can't even tell okay we need to start another load that's what she said and now we put it all away it's the way I moved it all and I'm gonna move it back because it just sticks out way too much. The whole thing is a whole ass mess. Does not look good. Liked it way before. So we're gonna have to move it all back. That was waste, but it's fine. It's fine, okay? Because I now know. I literally smell like onions. My nails are just on their last leg. And I put everything back together. Okay, now everything is just extremely cluttered but I think what I realized is I it's not that I even wanted to rearrange I think what happened was I was just adding so much like tiny clutter that it was overwhelming me like right here for example I mean you're not gonna honestly even be able to tell but I used to have like this clueless makeup the way you can see me right now but I used to have like this clueless makeup box right there that was just cluttering it like right here I had some other stuff and I think I just I want to put it all away like in this corner right here I have like purses hanging which I don't mind but I don't want it to stack up too much because like right here I had so many purses hanging off the side and I had like my juicy thing in the back for my videos there's just like a lot of random things um I want to clear up that coat rack. I just want it to be very kind of minimal to what it used to look like in the past uh, because I just, I can't do it. Like now, it's just not it. It's too much stuff. So we're going to try to condense it and then I will show you guys what it looks like at the end because right now it's like probably, so you would literally not believe me if I told you that I hate clutter because I literally live in clutter, but when everything is cluttered, um, I can't function like it's already 6 p.m. well about to be 6 p.m. and I still like haven't showered I need to take depop photos but I need to get this done like it needs to happen
gonna go to the coffee shop right now in my PJs um, just to get a tuna sandwich because I don't want to cook. I'm hungry and we just we need to get the show on the road. So that is the plan. We're almost done with the room. I got my little tuna sandwich. Well, actually I got also just a little side salad with some croutons. I'm gonna eat that and then the tuna sandwich. I swear, I always say this, but I will get a tuna sandwich anywhere. I don't care if it's at a gas station. Okay, I, it is like my favorite just go-to quick thing. I am so freaking excited to eat this. I haven't eaten like anything. I had, well, that's a lie. James's mom made egg bites, so I had like four of those, but other than that, I've just been go, go, go. So we're gonna eat this. Mm. So good. I just kind of organized it in two piles really quick. This stuff right here on the ground is stuff that I need to log for my Depop. This stuff in the corner is things that I need to put away. I just need to find hangers, probably take some out of my Depop room, and then purses that were hanging all around the mirrors that I got to find somewhere to put, and a very, very sleepy Corella in the corner. And Wolfie is literally just sleeping right here in his little humble... Where is his face? Oh my god. Finally finished my room and I realized I'm probably not gonna have enough time to do the living room not enough time But just like on the vlog. I want to keep it mainly I don't want to like stretch it out and um, there's a lot of other things I need to do first before I do the living room But I promise I will show that but let me show you guys the room in its full glory So the first thing you're gonna see when you walk in is my pink little door and I have this Little picture hanging that I actually thrifted not too long ago We have Corella laying there and then a scratch post because they just love to scratch on anything So I need to keep those and they actually do work and this is a little overall view of my room again does look very cluttered but at this point I'm going to do with the space that I have because obviously um, I get dressed in here, I film in here, I do my makeup in here. So I try to do best with what I have because I do have a lot of stuff and not big enough space. So this is kind of where I do my makeup area. You know, I keep my jewelry there. You guys kind of saw a little overview earlier in the vlog and I did thrift literally like i'm not joking probably every single piece of furniture everything that you can see this mirror i thrifted i see these all the time it was actually brown but i just got some um what is it called gold spray paint type of thing from lowe's and it spray painted it i am obsessed with finding vintage of playboys i have them all around my house i just think they're so fun to collect i did end up putting a bag right there because it just had to happen um i literally couldn't find any other good space with it i have just some of my little perfumes right there a little candle and then these are like some of my favorite little lip things they are from kaja beauty i don't know i just think they're so freaking cute i have my slippers right there and then i have some black and red ones under there they used to sit right there but i put them there just so it can kind of be tucked away just because i want pops of pink not red in the room and again we have corella on the chair that chair i actually lied i did not thrift i got it so long ago honestly i don't even remember and then kind of tucked behind right there i keep an impressions vanity mirror that's how i usually do my makeup but it looks very ugly so i just keep it under there and i also have like my hair products and stuff in this zebra thing tucked away we move over here i have my coat rack i did actually end up styling some of the pieces already which is why it looks different from before we have my messy closet honestly it's exposed again i have such a tiny space and you guys know i love to thrift because you guys know i style so much so i like to keep a rotating closet which is why i have so many things um so it's just always gonna look cluttered until one day i can probably possibly get a closet where it's just literally one room filled with my clothes until then it's just gonna look like this disorganized mess and i thought about putting a curtain over it but 
if I'm being honest, I just don't like that look because I'm always reaching for my clothes that I want to be able to see them. I don't want to have them tucked away. That's like almost way too minimal for me. And then over here, I have my laundry basket. I keep some of my books on here, my little Las Vegas snow globe that I got at the Vegas airport, which I really wish I would have filmed that for you guys when I went, but I didn't. I did have some shorts though, if you guys saw that. And then this couch that I got off Facebook Marketplace for literally, I think it was $200. Um, it does have a little bit of a minor thing right there, but it's okay. I thought about cutting fabric underneath and kind of just, uh, what is it called, sewing it on right there. I almost forgot to turn my little Playboy light on. You're not going to see it in all of its glory, um, but it's totally fine. You guys kind of get the idea. I ended up taking the juicy boxes away and putting the Libra scale right there with Paris's new book. I just love it. It looks so cute right there. It kind of also, just for the background of my videos, just really resembles my personality. You know, I got the Libra scale, the Playboy bunny, the kind of like Parisian thing and the clothes. I don't know. It's just like my personality into one with the pillow. It says Diva. It's definitely like 5,000 aesthetics pulled into one, but it's me. So what are you gonna do? So this bear is one that James got me for Valentine's Day, I think last year. So it just kind of sits there, just my little dressing room area. And over here I have my, okay, this is gonna look really ugly. I had to kind of pull that down so you can really see, but here is my desk area. I think the problem is obviously this pink chair. It really takes up the entire room, so it makes it look very cluttered. But honestly, I work on the desk a lot. Hey, you can see the light, but I work on the desk a lot, so I like to have a very comfy chair, you know, when I sit and edit, and I want to sit in an uncomfortable chair, and this just makes sense for me. And then I have my little martini glass that I got for my birthday at Apple Hill. I kind of made it. The scent is Love Spell. It's very Victoria's Secret. I changed up a little bit of the decorations on my desk from what you guys saw earlier. Again, just to kind of do a little bit more pop of pink, that Lana Del Rey book I'm going to end up putting in the living room because I feel like the tones are going to match more and yeah that is pretty much it okay I think I'm going to end the vlog here um I'm literally out of memory already I have to keep deleting stuff but hopefully you guys enjoyed this different vlog I haven't done a vlog like this in so long so yeah that is pretty much it all right we are signing off now